Today on Power Nation Garage, we're back working on our Spec 350Z race car project and it's getting racetrack ready suspension. Hey, I'm Gannon Pritchard. Welcome back to Power Nation Garage where we finally got our Spec 350Z back from the roll cage shop. Take a look at it. The roll cage is the single most important feature in your race car because there is no sacrifice when it comes to safety. As a driver, it's important to be safe and you want to make sure the roll cage is done correctly and not done without a professional overlooking the process. This is one area you don't want to go easy on. And although safety is our number one priority and it's in the NASA rule book to be legal, another thing to keep in mind is the roll cage will actually add performance to your suspension because it will make the race car more rigid than a car without. All right, so we got the roll cage installed. It looks fantastic and it's gonna keep us safe, but now it's time for suspension. The stock suspension's fine, but for what we're gonna do with this car, it's gonna need an upgrade. Before we get started, I wanted to introduce you to Spencer with Z1 Motorsports. Spencer, man, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Dude, are you ready to put some parts in this car? Yeah, let's do this. All right, let's rock and roll. Upgrading the suspension is next, and we'll start up front by removing the strut bar. Break the nut loose, and then use a socket to remove the remaining bolts on both sides. Pull the strut bar, remove the three nuts on top of the strut tower, both on the left and right side. From there, move under the car and use an impact. Remove the ball joint nut, adjoining the upper control arm and the spindle. The spindle will fall forward. Be sure to hold it up so you can remove the brake lines from their brackets. This will give you enough extra room to work without damaging those brake lines because if you do that, it's going to be a bad day at the office. Use a wrench to loosen the bolt on the lower control arm. Follow this by using an impact to completely remove it. Push down on the lower control arm and remove the strut completely. Use a wrench and a socket to then completely remove the upper control arm. Once out of the car, adjust the aftermarket control arms to be as close to the OEM length as possible. This will need to be professionally adjusted once it's back in the car to get the caster and camera to where it needs to be. But you might as well get it as close as you can while you're putting it back in the car. Reinstall the new adjustable upper control arms the same way that you remove them. Install the new coilover shock by slipping the top end first, followed by the bottom end. Installing the mounting bolt on the lower control arm, followed by three nuts on top, holding in your high performance aftermarket coilover shock. Now you can go ahead and reattach your brake lines to the brackets and tighten up the upper ball joint. Moving to the rear of the car, use an impact to remove the stock bolt on the lower control arm. Okay, yeah. Use a dead blow hammer to release the lower control arm, allowing the spring to fall out completely. From there, completely remove the lower control arm. Measure to the center of the spring bucket and drill a hole for your new coilover mounting hardware. Install the new mounting hardware for the new spring and make sure that it's tight. Remove the upper shock nuts and remove the old shock completely. Reinstall the lower control arm, starting with the side closest to the center of the car. 
reinstall the new shock the same way that you removed the OEM shock. And be sure to not go too fast and make sure those bolts are nice and snug. Install your new coil springs with the crush spring and put it into place in the lower control arm spring bucket. Using a jack, adjoin the control arm with the spindle bracket and tighten the bolt once it's in place. and finish it all up by reinstalling your strut bar up front. Once everything is good and tight, you can move to the front end to install Nismo's front sway bar. This performance upgrade measures in at 1.4 inches in diameter and will really reduce body roll for quicker times. Now your high performance suspension is finished.